And with Steve Pickering from Warrington Market. Steve, there's a lot going on here at the moment. Can you update people on where we're up to on the redevelopment works? Yeah, there's always a lot going on at Warrington Market. And as you can see behind me, the, the hoardings are going up because we're about to start demolishing the buildings in Times Square. What's important to us is that we let people know that the market's still fully open for business for the next two years. Well, we knock this lot down and build a new building there, and then we move all our existing traders over to there. And what's, what's great about it all is that we've got some fantastic traders, we've got great products, and that's why we're building them a new market, because they deserve it. You, you speak to them yourself later, find out what they're like. And with Neil from Get Stuff, Neil, how much are you looking forward to the new market? Oh, very much so, can't wait. It's going to be a really good thing for this, uh, for this time. And how are you finding trade at the moment? Trade's still going good. Uh, it seems to be going, going quite well. Everyone seems to be happy with the way things are going. Uh, the public are aware of what's going on and they know obviously that the market is going to be open all the way through it. So I'm happy. And uh, what sort of service do you offer the people of Warrington? Um, something that no one else can. It's a fresh service, fresh hot food every single day. Uh, a car that you can actually take away with you. So uh, you can take it home, you can eat it at work, however way you want to do it. But it's a lot cheaper than the way the other people do it and it's a lot fresher as well. And with Brenda at Raven's Fish Store. Brenda, how excited are you about the redevelopments at Warrington Market? Oh, it'll be wonderful. It really will be wonderful. I've been here a long time. Absolutely love it. Met loads of people. Good customers. You say you've been here a long time. How long have you worked on Warrington Market? I've worked on Warrington Market for 36 years. And what um, sort of service can people expect from you when they well, come here? Wonderful. I've got customers that have known for years and I just know what they want when they come up. It's like being in a pub. All my regulars. <laughs> right, and we've Andrew from Andrew's Fish Game and Poultry. Andrew, how much are you looking forward to the new developments at Warrington Market? I think the new developments in the new market is going to be absolutely spectacular. Uh, it's going to bring a whole new life to Warrington Town Centre. And how are you finding business at the moment? Business at the moment is absolutely fine, uh, carrying, on, like, carrying on as usual really. Days are up, days are down, but on the whole everything's really, really great. And I believe you won a national award last year? Yeah, yeah, uh, a little bit ago now won a national award, uh, that's all it's all gone well. We've got a lot of advertising out of it, a lot of publicity, a lot of feedback, so yeah, it's been really good. And what sort of service can your customers expect here at Warrington Market? Oh, the very best. The very best from me and all the other trades in the market. You won't get a better service or a better quality of products in any supermarket or any other town, really. And with local historian Mark Colley. Mark, what's the future for Warrington Market as far as history is concerned? Well, it's going to be a very interesting one. Um, wherever there's people, there's always a market. and We've got thousands of years of market history here. And the intention is, with the new building, which incidentally is staying open throughout its development, is to bring in some of that old history that people have missed. Like, for example, the market clock. And we've discovered another old clock. There's an old barrow that's coming in that's been here for a couple of hundred years. We've got the old tram stop from outside Greenall Whitley. That hopefully is coming in. And best of all, we've actually got a use for the new listed Boots building building frontage which is going to be the main draw to bring people into the new building so I'm really excited and all the events and all the programs you're used to at the market are just going to carry on year after year as the development grows around them so for me as a historian that's absolutely fantastic. I'm with Steve Lewis at Radio Warrington here in the market. Steve what's going on behind you? Well as you can see uh, we've invested heavily in Warrington market we see this as being the future uh, the market's uh, traders are always very friendly and helpful when we do outside broadcasts, so we thought this was the natural place. Uh, Warrington Market is the, is the heart of the community. We want to be at the heart of the community, so the natural place for us to be is here in Warrington Market. And when are you hoping to be on air? Well, <laughs> a few technical issues with, uh, with the actual transmitter sites, which we can't do here this time, so uh, the transmitter is, the process of that is going through, but we'll be broadcasting from here uh, once we, pretty much once we've got it all up and running, which is going to be in the next few weeks. I'm with Gary from So Many Lovely Things here on Warrington Market. Gary, are you looking forward to the future? We certainly are. Definitely the new market's looking fabulous. And how are you finding trade at the moment? It's, it's difficult, but you know we're working through it. Um, trade's slightly picked up in January and February uh, compared to last year. Uh, we're still here. And what sort of things can people expect to find on your store? Uh, anything from around the world that's unusual. And with Steve at Moran, Steve, how have you been finding trade with all the news about the new market? Um, yeah, it's looking positive. Um, 
just a matter of trying to keep you know keep the buzz from the new market and just try to keep it going as as the business is you know we're all still in business and we're all still you know open as usual and how many years have you been trading on the market um well me personally i've been here five years but the business has actually been here since the market began and we started off in the the old market so looking forward to the new market and then the permanent market and what sort of services do you offer people uh, shoe repairs key cutting engraving watch straps batteries um yeah trophies as well we offer yeah wide range so steve the message is well the message from everyone is that there's still bats of activity going on in the market and there will be for the next two years until we move into the new temporary one. And um, keep your eye on Warrington Worldwide to find out what events we've got coming up this summer.